I have been flying this FedEx Rex 80 standard for several months now, and you can watch my review on it. Um, it's springtime where I live, and I have been uh, thoroughly enjoying flying this. As you can see, I've been uh, mowing uh, a lot of grass with it. So consequently, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and uh, purchase the Rex 80 HD um, because it comes with the Runcam Split Mini 2 with the better 12 millimeter lens. I went ahead and got the um, Bind and Fly that came with the FR Sky XM Plus receiver. Um, I'm interested in seeing if the video quality is on par with the Cadex Turtle that I have on some of my other Cine Whoops. Um, I went with a Bind and Fly this time uh, just uh, because I didn't want to uh, spend a lot of time soldering on the, the receiver. Um, you can watch my video on, that I did on the standard and how I set it up. Um, I did uh, solder on a uh, RXSR on, on this one. So uh, with that, I'll go ahead and go over what's in the box uh, quickly. Um, it does come with this basket, um, like the uh, standard edition. Um, I'm glad they just went ahead and put on the uh, um, battery holder with the strap um, because, uh, you know, I think it's a lot better solution than the, the basket. Um, looks like it does come with uh, an extra strap here and uh, this looks like the same instructions that came with the standard edition which is a pinout um, on the uh, flight controller you can see that um, so um, that's nice and then there's uh, some double sticky pads here um, you would use that these double-sided sticky pads if you were uh, going ahead and adding your own your own receiver. So I'll go ahead and put those back in the box. So I'll quickly uh, get a weight measurement. It's supposed to um, weigh 55 grams, but we'll go ahead and verify that. So um, let me tar this out. It comes in right at 55 grams um, as compared to the Rex 80 standard, which is uh, coming in at 47 grams. So a little heavier than what they say in the, the spec, but uh, so, um, you know, it's about 10 grams heavier, 55. So let's go ahead and go over the specs real quick. Um, the wheelbase is 80. 80 millimeters, 81 millimeters is what uh, I have on here. Uh, the propeller diameter, these are 40 millimeter props on this thing. Uh, the flight controller is a F405. Uh, the ESCs are a four in one, 12 amp, uh, you, that will support two to four cell the recommended battery size for this thing is 2S to 3S with the motors that they have. Um, I'll probably be running a 3S battery on this due to the added weight um, on the standard. You know, I do run a 3S, um, but when I'm just cruising around, I use a 2S. I think with the added weight, I'll probably be flying this one mostly with 3S, but we'll see. Uh, the star of the show is the Run Cam Split Mini 2. Uh, this has 1080p resolution. Uh, the uh, lens itself is the 12, the improved 12 millimeter lens on here that supposedly has less jello. So uh, hopefully uh, this will have um, the same type of video quality that the Cadex Turtle has, the V2 version. Uh, the motors are 1103, 11,000. Uh, KV brushless with uh, motors with a 1.5 millimeter shaft. Uh, the VTX um, is switchable between 25 milliwatts and 100 milliwatts and does support uh, smart audio. Uh, it is a 40 channel transceiver, so it's uh, really the same, same as uh, what's in the standard version. Uh, so next what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and configure this quad and bind it to my Tyrannus. I'm going to spend some time flying it over the next couple of weeks and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the Rex 80 with some flight footage.
channel may not know that I pay for all the quads that I review. Not saying there's anything wrong with the mainstream FPV content providers getting theirs for free. In fact, I feel they do provide feedback to the manufacturers on early prototype deficiencies to get them corrected. Um, so I do pick production quads that I want to own and fly since I pay for them. Consequently, my reviews tend to be more positive bias since I try to pick the winners. So let's talk about the Rex 80HD. First, the pros. Very nice components. Um, for example, the Runcam Split Mini V2 with the M12 lens supplies great video. At $139 for the plug and play version, I think it's a great value as compared to other Cine Whoops in this class. And if you use the XM Plus or similar receiver, you get great range as compared to the Mobula 7HD. Also, the frame is bulletproof. I crashed this thing a lot, and you can see that um, I've actually creased the, the frame, and the frame is, is very durable. But now I need to talk about the cons. Even though the components are great on paper, they just don't play well together. For example, the canopy prevents the angle to be adjusted down um, to get um, what I would call a cine whoop angle like you would do on the Rex 80. If you look at the standard Rex 80, um, you can actually adjust it down even slightly below the uh, canopy opening here. And so it's a, and that won't be in, in your uh, um, video feed, but you can't do that with the HD version. It's about a 30, 30 degree angle. So consequently, um, this thing's natural speed of flying is faster than what you would want to do if you want to get some nice, smooth shots. So that is a um, problem in my mind. Um, also, with the split mini in here uh, and the higher power VTX, I think it generates too much heat and you get core temp warnings on the bench even at 25 milliwatts. I definitely would recommend running this quad at 25 milliwatts or only higher with the 25 milliwatt on disarm. You can change that in the CLI. So in other words, when it's uh, disarmed, it's only transmitting at 25 milliwatts. But um, I 
personally would only run this thing in 25 milliwatts just because the heat generated by the run cams with that mini v2 um, is just too much with the uh, vtx that they have um, i was also having desync issues with this thing with the stock props because i think the pitch is too high yes i did raise the digital idle value but that didn't help i actually fixed it by running in d shock 300. Um, also with the four blade gen fan props um, like that are on the standard version um, i was getting a lot of jello and micro vibrations these props just aren't conducive for flying um, getting hd video quality so then i tried you know the three bladed props but actually they're slightly larger in diameter than the um, four bladed props. So interestingly enough, they do tend to rub on the side of the frame. So um, that wasn't an option. So I went ahead and used the four bladed um, beta FPB 40 millimeter props um, that I had sitting around and then running it with props out. So that did significantly reduce the jello, as you can see from my video. Um, but flying in acro mode, um, the acro capabilities were worse with that combination. Point being, the combinations of the frame and the components just don't work for me. And I really can't recommend it like I can for the standard Rex 80. I think this is a definite thumbs up. This one, just, uh, just the combination of these components, uh, to me, just doesn't... Uh, doesn't tick the boxes off for me. Um, so what I think I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go ahead and stick the good components on a toothpick style frame like the iFlight to see if I get better results and that will be part of a future video. So with that, um, thanks for watching.